to do business with God. Business. Jesus went to the temple business. and he saw them changing money and he flipped over the tables. He says, this is not the type of business that you do in this place. Sir. There is a time and a place for everything. But when we enter into the house of God, it must become a house of prayer. We have come to seek the face of God. We didn't come to seek man. We could have been sleeping if we wanted to. We could have been doing whatever we want. So as long as you're here, I want you to give God all that you can in this time of prayer. I didn't come to make you feel good, but I came to stir you up. The Bible says that men ought always to pray and never to faint. And if one has stopped praying, then indeed they are no longer qualified to connect with the Father. And so we give ourselves to much times of prayer. Oh God, there is a business that we do on the altar. It's the business of prayer. Listen, we have to pray. We are in a warfare. Life is a warfare. And only those that understand this are victorious in their endeavors. There is only so far that you can go with the arm of the flesh. There is only so far that you can go with your own intelligence, with your degrees, with the money that you've accumulated in your account. Or maybe you're known by many people and they honor you. There's only so far that the applause of men can take you. But it is those that understand that this world is a, is a spiritual world. Yes. And there is a battle taking place. Those are the ones that rise up above every other thing. Those are the ones that, will, that have chosen not to be held down. So if peradventure I'm able to overcome by means of the flesh, there are things that can only be overcome by means of the spirit. That's why we pray. Many people will say, why? Why are we here praying so long? They don't understand. They don't see in the spirit. Because if God were to show them the things that are chasing their life, some of them would not even sleep. There are some that we have to drag to church. Come and pray. We, we do that because we know, but they don't know yet. Yes. But our hope is that someday their eyes will be opened. Open. And they'll come to the revelation of oh, the God. reality of the spiritual oh, realm. Oh and why it's necessary to give themselves to a life of prayer. Yes. We will waste many years in the flesh. We will lose many opportunities in the flesh. But when you begin to pray, it seems as if every door just begins to open. It seems as though those barriers in which the enemy has erected against your life begin to break. It seems as though those cycles uh, that have been perpetual in your household, uh, those things that troubled your mother and your father and your grandparents, uh, when you wake up and you begin to pray, it'll be as if those things begin to melt away. Uh, there are some things that can only be broken on the altar of prayer. And that's why we hold on to the ways of the Lord like Jacob did. Uh, he said, I will not let you go until you bless me, uh, until there's a a visible change in my life uh, until there's an evidence uh, a tangible transformation uh, sometimes we come uh, and we praise and we worship and we feel good and we go back and there's nothing tangible to show that indeed uh, we've been in the presence of God uh, but as we're praying tonight uh, our goal is that when you go back home you will see something in your life unusual in the name of Jesus Mentos Kevin. This world is a spiritual world. Even Goliath, in all of his stature and on all of his might. The Bible says that he cursed David in the name of his gods. And so, although he was the biggest and the tallest, although he may have been the strongest on the battlefield, 
he understood that his advantage was not in the size of his muscles, but it was in the gods that followed him. And so whoever was to challenge Goliath was not just challenging a giant in the physical, but was challenging someone who had fortified themselves with all type of spiritual powers. And so that's why none in Israel could, could challenge him because they did not have a revelation of Jehovah Sabaoth. But there was a young boy named David. He was trained in the wilderness. The Lord taught his hands to war and his fingers to fight. He had experience. One day a lion came and he overcame it by the spirit. And the next day it was a bear that came unto him. And so this day when he stood in front of Goliath, he remembered those victories. And he remembered that it's not his size that gives him strength. It's not his size that his advantage. But he cursed Goliath. He said be by this day, uh, this day, uh, you will fall to the ground uh, and I will take your sword to chop off your head. Uh, he, he came in the name of Jehovah. He said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine uh, that dare defies the army of the living God? Uh, listen, uh, there are some enemies that we have to look them in the face uh, and say, how dare you? Uh, who do you think you are yes. to stand in my way? Uh, yes. Who do you think you are to stand in the, in the presence of the children of God. You've been here for too long. You are not permitted any longer. I don't know about you, but there's something on me for warfare this night. There must be a breakthrough in the lives of the people of God. Many are suffering with all type of demonic afflictions and bondages. Does this mean that our God is not great? No. There is none as great as he is. Nothing. And so that's why we pray. For if peradventure it is our flesh that limits him, we pray until flesh no longer glories in his presence. If peradventure is our intellect, we pray until we don't come in the wisdom of man, but with the demonstration of the power of the Holy Spirit. If peradventure is our doubt that, 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 that limits what he can do, we pray until he begins to help our fears and our infirmities. We pray until we receive spiritual until. fortification to break through the gates of the enemy. Yes. I want to tell you, no matter how far you've gotten so far in life, there's always a spirit that's there and his goal is to stop you from from reaching the next level yes. oh god many have been delayed and held back because they chose not to be spiritual people there are many churches all across this city all across this nation that are suffering their members are leaving the children are leaving and they're wondering what's going on they don't understand it's a spiritual war yes. it's a battle for the lives of battle, men battle. and if we are to succeed for the kingdom we must wake up yes. and smell the coffee yes. we must understand that we are not in this world alone uh, and we must not trust in the flesh any longer but put our hope in Jehovah yes. there are some things that can only be done some battles that can only be done oh ferredini shkavana anskabini iliarodoske Welcome, welcome, welcome this evening. I am glad and grateful to have each and every one of you on here this night. We are expecting, as always, a move of God as we gather together to pray, as we gather together to raise a standard in the realms of the Spirit. As you get on, I will need you to let me know if you hear me, if you see me, if everything is working as it should, but also, you know, I've been saying the other thoughts, and I and I was thinking, when did I actually start saying that? <laughs> Amen. And it took me all the way back to the days of Periscope, where sometimes you would get on, and um, people wouldn't hear you or see you. <laughs> Amen. So you had to make sure if you can hear me, or if you can see me. So, Amen. So one time for the old times. Amen. If you can hear me, you can see me. Let me know. Let me know where you're tuning in from. This is Prophet Ugo. I'm coming to you live from northern New Jersey. Proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. Declaring the realities of the kingdom. And demonstrating the power of God. All done by the operations of the Holy Ghost. I welcome you. Welcome you. Rhode Island, Winnipeg, New York. 
Kentucky. Kentucky, welcome, welcome, Vienna, Alabama, Athens, Georgia, North Carolina, South Africa, Jacksonville, Florida, Queens, New York, Wisconsin, Georgia, Florida, you hear me, Los Angeles. Welcome, 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 Jamaica, welcome, welcome, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. As you let me know where you're tuning in from, do me another favor and just share this. If you're watching on Facebook, you can repost the video to your wall. I'm not sure why the stream didn't start in my personal ministry page, but it started in my personal page, so feel free to share this regardless of where you're watching from. Amen. If you're watching from YouTube, like the video, send a link out to some individuals that you know are in need of a touch from God. We are praying this night. We are going to do some praying, and we are believing that indeed the Lord would raise a defense. This is the month of October. I'm already beginning to hear of strange things taking place. People in the hospitals, unnatural accidents, uh, things that are happening. It's not a coincidence. Uh, in this month, the powers and the operations of witchcraft are increased. They're multiplied. And the enemy is out for blood. Uh, we know I talked about this before when we prayed against witchcraft vampire-like spirits uh, that desire to consume the blood of individuals. Uh, and so we don't wait until the 31st, but we pray as we're led by the Spirit. Uh, and so we gathered last week. We've been praying. We had a powerful deliverance session last week. And the Lord spoke to me and he said, don't wait until the 31st. Uh, begin to pray. The Bible says, whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Uh, and whatsoever you loose on earth uh, shall be loose in in heaven and so we will stand this night and create a barrier of defense and we are praying against every hoodoo every voodoo every jinx every curse any incantation any project any projection anything which the enemy would direct in our path direct to our sons to our daughters to our spouse spouses to our family whatever it is is being worked behind the scenes uh, we will stand this night and cancel it uh, and then we're going to cast out devils uh. the bible says uh, that the curse without cause shall not alight shall not arise uh. and so a lot of times uh, when you have all these works of darkness uh, and you enter into a season like this uh, and the enemy attempts to hold you bound why is because there's something there maybe it's in you uh, maybe it's what took place in the past but it's there and the enemy is using it uh, to draw near to you so we're gonna pray this night Bafarum veniske melento kovone barodonski tonai feni malanto kove in skedini zalento farabaniskaba as you get on just begin to pray in the spirit if you can pray in the spirit pray in the spirit if you can't pray in the spirit just call on the name of Jesus and begin to declare his presence is already here with you we thank you Jesus Bente Faroniske, Yaton Tekai, Malanske Farabine, Zanto Verepeni, Manto Koiva, Zalente Farabani Kobe in Sa, Zalekoveni Inskebe, Mensoveni, Mensoveni, Melekovana and Skebarano, Maratonskebe, Zalente Fare, Zalente Fare, Zalente Fare, Marodonske Pa, Ben Sumei, Ben Sumei, Zavante Paradoshke, Zavante Ve. Oh yes, God, La Pa Farodoshke, Menzivana Antoske, Zavan Perabene Inskebe, Malante Kaivene Iska. We're going to begin with this. Mente Vana Anske, Menta Vara Iska Ako, Zebaimba, Mende Koverepeni. The Bible says, in Proverbs 26 and 2 uh, that the curse without cause uh, shall not alight uh, that regardless of what's done uh, regardless of what's made manifest uh, if there's no cause for it underlying cause for it uh, then it will not alight uh, it will not be effective uh, it will not be manifested uh, so we're gonna pray this day and as you pray 
I want you to pray in your understanding this moment uh, and say, God, anything in my life uh, that will give curses uh, the opportunities to be effective, uh, take it out of me. Uh, I want you to begin to repent uh, for your sins, uh, the things you've done knowingly, uh, the things you've done unknowingly, uh, the things, the secret, the secret sins of the heart, uh, the sin of lack of faith, uh, of fear, the sin of gossiping and slander, the sin of of jealousy and rage and anger the sin of fornication the sin any sin that you know has been operational in your heart that is contrary to god listen i need you to be focused and follow instructions just begin to pray that prayer right now even if there's nothing you can remember then just say jesus have mercy upon me have mercy upon my iniquities pray those prayers you're going to begin to repent as well. I need you to repent for the sins of your ancestors. The things that have been done before you. The things that have been done before you found expression on the face of the earth. The things that were done on your behalf. The things that were done on behalf of everyone that comes out of the bloodline. Begin to pray this day and say, God, declare that you stand as a priest. Declare that you repent for it. Lord God, we come before you this day as your sons and daughters uh, and we declare oh uh, that we are new creatures in Christ Jesus uh, your word says uh, that he that knew no sin became sinner uh, that we might be called the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus uh, so we stand uh, on the efficacy of the blood uh, and we stand on the supremacy of your sacrifice uh, and we come humbly before the throne of grace uh, and we cry out for mercy uh, we cry out for mercy uh, we say God what, whatsoever we've done knowingly uh, or unknowingly uh, the thoughts that have been in our heart Heart, uh, the thoughts that have uh, proceeded from our mouths, the things that we've said uh, that has been unpleasant to you, uh, the way that we may have treated others, uh, other believers or other individuals uh, that may have been unpleasant to you, any way uh, that we acted in a way that was contrary to your character and to your nature, we come before you this day uh, and we beseech you for mercies. Uh, we say, oh God, have mercy upon us. Uh, we do not hide our sin. Uh, we do not hide our transgression. Uh, we do not hide our iniquity. Uh, but in Instead, we make ourselves open and naked before you. And we come before you, uh, crying, saying, have mercy, have mercy. Uh, we stand as priests this day, uh, and we declare, oh, uh, we stand as priests, uh, and we repent for the sins of our ancestors. Come on, uh, just pray with me, pray with me. We stand as priests, uh, and we repent for the sins of our ancestors. Uh, we repent concerning the iniquity that's found in our bloodline. Uh, we repent if peradventure there's any human sacrifice in our blood. Uh, we repent if peradventure there is anything that has taken place uh, in our family that has been detestable and deplorable in your sight. Uh, we ask of you to have mercy any way our ancestors uh, have defrauded and cheated others. Uh, we ask of you to have mercy uh, any way our ancestors have acted in a way uh, that brought curses upon them and our family line. Uh, we ask of you to have mercy. We repent on their behalf as priests. And we say, oh God, forgive us. We say, let the blood speak. We say, let the blood speak. Come on now, just begin to pray in tongues. I pray for you. And I stand in my office. And I declare as the word of the Lord says that your sins are remitted. We stand on the efficacy and the supremacy of the blood of Jesus. And I declare the accusations of the enemy are made like nothing. I declare this day that whatsoever the enemy would bring against you, any voice in the courts of heaven that stands to accuse you, we plead guilty and we cling on to the innocence of Christ Jesus. And I declare on your behalf this day uh, as a result of the verdict uh, that was passed not today uh, but 2,000 years ago uh, upon that cross of Calvary that you have been acquitted. Uh, I pray for you this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and I declare that you've been found innocent uh, not because you've never done it, uh, not because your ancestors didn't do it, uh, but simply because uh, he that knew no sin became sin. Uh, we stand, O oh God, uh, and we beseech of thee, O oh Lord, uh, Father in heaven, uh, do not forget the sacrifice of your son Jesus your word says do not forget the benefits of the Lord who forgives all our iniquities oh and healeth all our diseases and we come before you this day that you indeed would forgive that you and I come before you 
praying for your sons and daughters uh, that indeed uh, you would forgive their iniquities uh, and their sins uh, the very things that, that they do uh, on a regular basis the things that they do uh, day in and day out uh, that they may not necessarily know that it's uh, it's frustrating to you I pray uh, indeed have mercy uh, indeed have mercy uh, indeed have mercy uh, indeed have mercy uh, in the name of Jesus Christ uh, and now uh, by the supremacy uh, that is by the authority given to us uh, by the indwelling of the spirit uh, I declare the silencing of the voice of the enemy I declare the silencing uh, of the chatterings of the wicked one uh, I declare right now the accusations of the enemy be absolutely silenced in the name of Jesus Christ I stand as a son of God uh, and I declare right now uh, that every verdict uh, in the courts of hell that is attempted to be passed uh, any gathering of the enemy let them gather in one way and be scattered in seven uh, let the blood of Abel be overshadowed uh, by the blood of the lamb uh, Oh, oh, the Bible says uh, the blood of Jesus speaks better things. Uh, and I declare over the sons and daughters of God this day uh, that indeed the blood of Jesus uh, speaks better things. Uh, that indeed the blood of Jesus uh, speaks better things. Uh, now in the name of Jesus, uh, as a result of these prayers uh, and as a result of the blood of Jesus, I declare that every curse that's been spoken in the past, uh, that it be lifted up. Uh, we're praying right now. Uh, against every curse uh, that was spoken in the past uh, in the lives of your ancestors uh, that's affecting your life uh, that the enemy attempts to cleave to uh, to afflict you I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit uh, someone uh, your ancestor Oh, a male in your family stole someone's wife. And a curse was sent out. I pray for you this day. And I say every curse that was sent and every curse that stuck to you as a result of the sins of those that came before you. I declare right now because you have been acquitted in the court of heaven that no longer shall that curse be operational in your life and I speak to every spirit that accompanies every curse and I command it now to begin to leave you in the name to begin to leave you to begin to leave your home to begin to leave your environment in the name of Jesus Christ I speak against every work of, of, of every hex, every vex, every curse, every voodoo, every voodoo doll, every every incantation, every demonic declaration spoken by witches, spoken by wizards, spoken by people that were bereaved, who were upset against your ancestors that's now affecting you. I declare that by the blood of Jesus, these curses are made of none effect. We stand this day and we declare, and I declare that every tongue that has risen against thee in judgment, I condemn it now. Come on, I just want you to say, I condemn it. I declare this day that we condemn every tongue that has been risen against thee in judgment, that has been risen against thee, that has been risen against thee. We declare it condemned down to the ground. We declare it condemned permanently. We, we declare it condemned perpetually. We declare it condemned no matter how long it's been in operation. No matter how long it's been in manifestation. We condemn it this moment in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mantofe paruske doikava laton deveni mantekova naanske bavaro peni fenaanskebe we condemn it we condemn it we condemn it right now in the name of Jesus Christ I saw in the realms of the spirit disputes over lands disputes over territories that led to curses being spoken I say right now every curse that was spoken as a result of any dispute between brothers between sisters between family members between individuals that did not know each other that's now affecting you I say in the name of Jesus Christ let that contention let it cease let that contention in the realm of the spirit let it cease and let those words that were spoken let them fall down to the ground this moment in the name of Jesus Christ Mantofeni Perotoski Kaifeni Mantolina Mantolina Heveni Mansko Barabeni Ikaife Manton Tefali Zako Peninska Zapon Keniska Epamperenikova 
now in the name of Jesus I stand as a son of the Lord the Lord said there were some that were dedicated to the enemy as a child I see in the realm of the spirits a father dedicated his 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 children so that he can gain influence in a position of power I declare right now every dedication that has taken place before you came to this earth every way you were sold to the enemy without without your commitment every way you were sold to the enemy without your input before you were conscious and knowledgeable whether it was by your father whether it was by your grandfather by your mother whether it was by all religious and tribalistic rituals and and, and, and normalities I declare right now any way you've been sold I command there to be a restoration uh, wherever you're being held uh, wherever you're being locked uh, wherever you're being held in captivity in whatever belongs to you uh, that is being held we command it right now uh, to be released uh, we command it right now uh, to be released uh, we command it right now uh, to be released uh, listen uh, just begin to pray in the spirit uh, we've hit a certain realm of warfare things are beginning to happen in the spirit uh, my spiritual eyes are open I saw in the spirit uh, I saw what looked like uh, a, it was it was a, a bow but it wasn't a, it was like a hexagonal bow and there were individuals that sat around the table and they sat around this bowl and this bowl was glowing it had lights in it and I began to hear the chatterings of the spirit it said how should we let these people go seeing that we've had control of their destinies for so long and the spirit began to speak to me and he says these are the lights of men that have been sold to covenant that have been sold to secret societies and God said raise up a prayer raise up a prayer and I shall break it just begin to pray in the spirit right now there is war that's taking place there's a battle that's being waged for the souls of individuals for your souls for your destiny for your stars and for your light any way is being held any way is being trapped any way the souls your soul was hunted I say right now in the name of Jesus Christ let it be released if I told, come on pray he said raise a prayer and I will deliver my children he said raise a prayer and I will break that bow I declare right now let them gather in one way and be scattered in seven. Oh God arise and let your enemies be scattered let the gathering all together of warlocks and witches concerning anyone that's listening this night so far as they've come to listen so far as they've come to be blessed I declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that they come under the covering of the Lord and as a result of this wherever it is their light their star their destiny has been entrapped has been encaved I said let the angels of the Lord break those bowls in the name of Jesus Christ Mantofa Kume Inska Peronufeniske Mantofa 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 come on keep praying keep praying Peruna Falanske Mentefalan Tokoponske Lato Venansepe Mentifai Cape La Copeni and so hey, I'm seeing some individuals uh, begin to manifest at this moment uh, the battle is getting hot uh, there's, there's a release uh, of, of lies uh, every spirit of witchcraft uh, that was placed in you uh, that was traded and switched with your glory switched with your light with your star and they put something else on the inside of you every way any way there was a conglomeration there was a gathering together of witches and warlocks of sorcerers in a cultist against your life they took something out and they put something in I declare this day a divine reversal a divine reversal Paruneka, Paruneka, Yedune Iske Paive, Parunte Kaive. I declare this day a divine reversal. Melito Kaivana, Edina Ansumeri Ferreti, Maroto Kuvana Anske, La Pai Paruniske, Manto Kume, La Toy Farapeniska. I declare this day a divine reversal. Come on, just cry out in the spirit. 
Mante Kapatove, I'll let you know uh, when it's broken. Yatunke Veni Iske, Mente Valante Kopani, Vento Veni Iske. The Bible says, uh, according to the word of the Lord, uh, that Jesus Christ uh, has overcome principalities uh, and powers uh, and made an open show of them. Uh, we stand on the finished works of the cross. Uh, we stand uh, on the supremacy of the name of Jesus. Uh, but at that name, every knee shall bow uh, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Uh, to the glory of the Father, Jesus said, uh, Behold, I saw Satan fall down to the ground uh, like lightning. Uh, the victory is won. Uh, so I stand uh, in a place of victory and authority seated in Christ Jesus uh, in heavenly places uh, for above all principalities and powers uh, and I speak right now to the earth uh, and I say uh, any way the enemy has gathered against the souls of those that are watching this night uh, let the ground be opened up and swallow them uh, let their instruments uh, turn against them uh, let their incantations uh, let them swallow their incantations uh, I saw a strange thing happen in, a, in the realm of the spirit. I, I saw a sorcerer. He stood up to pronounce a declaration. Uh, but the words, as soon as they left his mouth, uh, they went back into his mouth. Uh, and the Lord spoke to me and he said, I will cause them uh, to swallow their curses. Uh, I will cause them to swallow their incantations. Uh, I will cause them uh, to swallow their hexes and their, their, their works of voodoo. The things that they've spoken uh, against my sons and daughters. I, the Lord, uh, will cause them to swallow it. Uh, I declare this day. Uh, he said, I only do what I see the Father in heaven doing. Uh, and because the Lord has spoken this thing, uh, I declare it as well as his earthly regent. Uh, I say in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, every curse, uh, every incantation, uh, every word uh, that's being spoken in covenants, as we speak uh, against this gathering, uh, against the sons and daughters of God, uh, any way they're trying to muster up uh, our reinforcements, uh, I say, let your curses, uh, swallow your curses, uh, choke on them, uh, swallow your incantations, uh, choke on them. Uh, let your instruments turn against you. Let your juju, let your voodoo, let your dolls, let your instrumentations, the, the very earthly things that you use, let them turn against you by the power of Jesus. Mentokume iskafa, Peruna kulainka, Penuski valekui peremini kape, Mentolikoma anskefe, Bentume insefe, Mentokoi vala iska. When you look at the mirror, let it blind you. When you both items in the pot. Uh, let it burn you. Uh, I say in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, let the power of witchcraft, uh, oh, uh, against the sons and daughter of God, uh, let it be cancelled this night. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, not just the ones that have happened in the past, uh, not just the ones that are happening now, uh, but throughout this month, uh, throughout November, throughout December, we raise a defense. Uh, we raise a defense in the realm of the spirit. Uh, and I say the curses that have been spoken let them be returned to its sender now in the name of Jesus Christ Matofeni Koperati Varoshke Bai Keveli Mento Kume Iska Mento Kume Iska Mento Feni Paradoske Evente Parano Evente Parano Mento Kuma Zandefare Come on pray somebody the Lord is bringing a great deliverance the Lord is bringing a great freedom. The Lord is bringing a great breakthrough. Mount Fine Sunaifana Peronis Kedun Kavani Maluko Veni Inskave Petore Venishke Beni Menta Koiva. The Lord instructed me. He said, Pray against every witchcraft device, every witchcraft technology. I want to tell you the technology of the realm of the spirit. The same way technology increases in the natural, it also increases in the realms of the spirit. I pray right now and I come against every device that has been implanted inside of you, every device that has been implanted 
implanted in your home, every device that has been implanted in your office, in your place of work, every device that leads, that functions as sorcery, that has been implanted throughout you, that has been implanted in your home, I pray against it, I pray against it, I say let the angels of God go forth and begin to search them out and begin to dig them up and begin to throw them away. I saw the vices of wickedness implanted in people's houses planted in their front yard, planted in their backyard, planted under the carpet where they work, sorceries, oh, witchcraft, evil devices. And I saw the angels of the Lord, they came, and they came in a humorous manner. They came with metal, what looked like metal detectors. And the Lord says, I will cause my angels to search them out, to dig them up, and to rid my sons of these things, to rid my daughters of these things, there is a search mission that is being taken place that is taking place in the realm of the spirit on your behalf every demonic device that when the enemy works witchcraft sometimes they work with their hands sometimes they get things they get bones and skulls sometimes they get leaves sometimes they use peppers and, and, and they use dolls they use clothing they use articles of, of skin they use items these are of demonic devices uh, demonic technologies uh, embedded with spiritual strength uh, but I pray this day in the name of Jesus uh, anywhere uh, in any way uh, a demonic device uh, has been planted in or around you uh, let it be exposed let it be exposed let it be exposed let it be exposed, let it be exposed. In the name of Jesus, let it be exposed. In the name of Jesus, let it be exposed. In the name of Jesus, every monitoring spirit that comes in the form of animals to watch you, to keep an eye on you. I said this night, let them be blinded. This night, let them be blinded. Every serpentine spirit that slithers around your home, let it be found out. Let I declare that you will find it dead you will find it severed I saw in the realm of the spirits serpents being sent to watch to keep an eye but I say the sword of the Lord the sword of fire shall visit these devices shall consume them shall kill them in the name of Jesus by the fire of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Spirit let them be excavated and burnt. Perune kuma anskiva, maradile fanuske, yatofereni, lakoi fana anske. Matofeni, sometimes. Uh, the, the device is planted inside of you. I want you to lay your hands on your stomach this moment. Every device that is planted in you, I speak to it. Come on, look me in my eye. Every device of the enemy planted on the inside of you, I command you to come out now. Every demonic technology, every demonic device embedded and implanted in these people, I speak to you directly. I know know you hear my voice I know you know my name and I know you know the name of Jesus and I say in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I speak to you directly and I call you up I cast you out I command you to go I call you up I cast you out and I command you to go I command you to go. I command you to go. I command you to go. Etotofeniska mende valinskeve marotume inskevatome perunina alikoma anskeve malinto feremini lakoyvana anskeve perune everything you've eaten everything you've ingested everything that's been deposited in you in the dream or in the natural I speak to it directly I command it to come out now I command it to come out now I command it to come out now to come out now to come out 
now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Mephaluskiva Perufeni Inskebe Melikova Nanske Pelida Farinika now in the name of Jesus although witchcraft is a working witchcraft is also a spirit sometimes people can have the spirit of witchcraft and it can cause them to attract curses to attract spells to attract other witches i pray for you this day in the name of jesus i want you to repeat after me say in the name of jesus i declare that i am not a witch or a wizard i declare that I belong to Jesus. I renounce every witchcraft inheritance. I declare that I will not serve idols. I will not serve false gods. I declare that I will not destroy the lives of other people. I am not a witch. I belong to the Lord. If you pray that prayer, I pray for you now in the name of Jesus. I speak specifically and directly. Just look me in my eye to the spirit of witchcraft. I command you to come out of these people. I saw somebody watching. You had a dream and in this dream you were wearing all black and you were gathered with other people and all of you began to fly. That's the spirit of witchcraft uh, wanting to indoctrinate you. Uh, I speak to that spirit of witchcraft uh, that is attempting to initiate you uh, as a result of the uh, of, of iniquity in your DNA, uh, as a result of demonic inheritance uh, in the seed of the enemy. Uh, I command that spirit of witchcraft uh, to come out of you uh, and to let you go right this moment uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the son of the living God I said come out of them 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 from the crowns of their head even to the sole of their feet you spirit of witchcraft you spirit of death and destruction I speak to the spirit of witchcraft uh, that comes to manipulation and control, uh, that comes to intimidation and domination. Uh, I speak to the spirit of witchcraft uh, that manifests as Jezebel. You spirit of Jezebel, you spirit of Athaliah, I command you now, your hold is broken, uh, your altars are broken, uh, your shrine is broken, uh, your prophets uh, and your priests are cut down. Uh, oh, pay me feruni iskebe, your source of defense uh, is is dissolved I, I command for you spirit the heavens are blocked you will have no source of defense you will have no source of re of reinforcement I cut you off from every principality that you do business with and I say look at me directly you spirit come out of these people in the name of Jesus every spirit of witchcraft that manifests as seduction that manifests as lust in order to destroy uh, men and women, uh, I command you now to come out of these people and let them go in the name of Jesus Christ. Mentofeni peruniska baika vanante mante kaiva heruniskebe. They've declared they want nothing to do with you. I break the powers of Jezebel. I declare by the strength of purity uh, and by the light of the Lord, uh, Jezebel be cast down. Uh, Jezebel be cast down. Uh, Jezebel that works with Leviathan be cast down uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Jezebel that works with Behemoth uh, be cast down. Uh, that works with rebellion uh, be cast down. Uh, that works with arrogance. Uh, that works with fear. That works with intimidation uh, be cast down in the name of Jesus there's a mighty deliverance taking place in the battles and the realms of the spirit I declare now in the name of Jesus Christ I come against every spirit of witchcraft that will attempt to attach itself to you this month of October O peni feraniske mentokume in skabai kafa beruniske that the Lord just spoke to me. He said, "Pray against every premeditated calamity 
every premeditated destruction anywhere the enemy is premeditating your demise this month of October I declare you will not be you will not be spellbound I declare that you will not be hospital hospitalized I declare you will not be sickly and afflicted I come against the plans and the plot of death against your life I say you will live and not die I come against every trap of the enemy that is being set against you I saw in the realm of the spirit uh, traps being set for the people of God. I saw a trap being set. Uh, it was set uh, in the subway. Uh, you began to argue with someone, uh, and the uh, spirit, uh, all they all, all it wanted to do uh, was to get you angry and out of your character so that it could attach something to you. Uh, that was a trap of the enemy. I saw the trap of the enemy uh, in a church. Uh, oh God. Uh, a young man came to you, a young woman came to you and tempted you and you fell. It was a trap of the enemy to lay the foundation for your demise and destruction. But this night, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come against and we cancel the traps of the enemy. Every trap that is functioning behind the scene, we cancel it this night in the mighty and the matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We cancel it this night in the mighty and the matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We cancel it this night. Mefine kupeni ile tunara finiskabe manto kuma ilaifa karunuske dina anskebe mente fara penikoba lato kabanse mente kapai falato karunuske dona ilaika mante kuma ensefe hetun kapalanda penikaive mensi paifa ele kopeni ironiska Rabane Kopani Va Manto Kupele Hefai Kapelanse. Yes, yes, yes. Declare over your life this night uh, that you will not fall into the traps of the enemy. As I began to pray in the spirit, uh, the Lord began to expose unto me uh, the many traps of the enemy. I saw individuals trapped, uh, trapped by the enemy as a result of conversations uh, that you had over the phone. Uh, where you were merciless uh, to other people, where you showed them no mercy. But the Bible says how you judge others, you will be judged. Uh, and the enemy used that conversation uh, that you used to put down others uh, in order to ensnare you and to trap you. It was a trap of the enemy. But I pray this day uh, that God would have mercy upon you and forgive you uh, for the words that have proceeded from your mouth uh, that have ensnared you that have ensnared yourself. I saw a trap being set against a young individual. Your friends, they invited you to an outing. They invited you to a club, not knowing that there will be gunshots. There, there are going to be gunshots at that outing. I pray for you right now that you will not fall into that trap. You will not fall into that trap. You will not fall into that trap. Men to Kaipa, Perunus, Kedaivani, Men to Kopeli Ansefa, Leko Panine, Epaiva, every demonic party which are being invited to. May the Lord give you wisdom to overcome temptation. In the name of Jesus Christ, I saw many traps being set this month of October as the enemy operates through Halloween. But I pray for you this day that this month you will not fall into the trap of the enemy. And God says also pray for their children. I pray that your children will not fall into the trap of the enemy. Your husband will not fall into the traps of the enemy. Your wife will not fall into the trap of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, Mekune ira parini. In the Varemi, a Taifeni, a Taifeni, a Latum, a Renishka, Mendo Kaba, Paroske Donde, Ninde Vaife, Paros, come on, come on, pray somebody, Atoshke, Ninda, declare, I will not fall. I want you to type it if you can. I will not fall. Babote Koreminishka, Mendo Vacome, Evambar. Ninda, declare, I will not fall into the trap into the schemings of the enemy. Oh, you and your household, 
in the mighty and the matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I agree with you this night uh, that you will be above uh, the schemings uh, and the plans and the plots of the enemy, the machinations of the evil one. Uh, you will not fall. Now in the name of Jesus, uh, the Lord has given us clearance uh, to pray for homes. Uh, I declare this month uh, over your home, uh, the witchcraft that's operational around your house, uh, in your streets, in your community, uh, in your apartment complex. Uh, I declare your home is covered. Uh, I declare your home is protected. Uh, every hex. Uh, that will be projected into the atmosphere. I saw a strange thing in the realm of the spirit that took place during Halloween. I saw as many people engaged in this, in this ritual. It was like a beam of power. It shot up into the second heavens and it began to strengthen principalities and other spirits and it began to send curses all across the land. We want to pray right now that any curse that will be sent this month against the against individuals as a result of of the heightened manifestation of witchcraft i declare your house is covered i declare your home is covered i declare your family members are covered i declare that as you raise the standard that you are preserved in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, your house shall uh, indeed be uh, a no-fly zone. Man fair to refini, zaike fareni kopana, latoshke peni kaiveni, nevante farepeni, kaiveni kopeni. When others uh, are consumed by darkness, uh, you shall not be. Neko meli fareni. When others are consumed by darkness, you shall not be. Bembaro uska, mendo paika, lepaife, mendo kaba. When others are covered by darkness, you shall not be. Mendo ferepeni, katonskebe, latoskebe, nende varepeni kopeli, atonze, menta paikape, ekai varepeni, nenda fane, ande kopeni. Mendo fenicobe, Yatandebe, Menda copeliva, Rebeniska, Mendava, Yacopeliva rescape. I prophesied upon your life this night. I prophesied into your home this night. And the Lord told me to tell you that he's stationing angels in your house. Lord God, we, we, we solicit for the release of angelic beings and powers to set, to stand and watch over our doors, in our rooms, in our houses, in our cars. That whatsoever the enemy would throw, whatsoever the enemy would attempt to deposit, whatever curse and hex and spell and voodoo, it will be sent back. It will be sent back. It will not enter into our homes in the name of Jesus Christ. Even individuals that come to visit your house, whatever they come with, shall not evict, shall not affect you. Whatever spirit they come into your house with, they shall leave with it. I declare this night that no one will come into your house to deposit their demons, to deposit unclean spirits. We declare whatever they come with, they shall leave with. Whatever they come with, they shall leave with. Whatever they come with, they shall leave with. They shall leave with. In the name of Jesus. Yes, listen, this is what we are declaring. Numbers 23 and 22 to 24. God brought them out of Egypt. He has, as it were, the strength of a unicorn. Surely there is no divination. There is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what have God wrought? Behold, 
the people shall rise up as a great lion and lift up himself as a young lion he shall not lie down until he eats of the prey and drink the blood of the slain I, pro I declare over you this day uh, that indeed uh, because uh, we've prayed uh, the Lord has not beheld any iniquity in you uh, and neither has he seen perverseness uh, in you uh, and because the Lord is with you and your king uh, that there is no enchantment against you come on uh, I want you to type it on the chat no enchantment uh, no divination uh, no enchantment uh, no divination, uh, no enchantment, uh, no divination, uh, no enchantment, uh, no divination. Mentoko, Vandepa, Lepaive, Mandekoiva, Zaipa, Rofe, Nikaika, Mendeparo, Lebaife, Menko, Peni, Ira, no enchantment and no divination. Mendoko, Peni, Rebeniska, Mendevai, Katon, Sefe, Leko, Peni, Inte, Mendeva. Paroske i kaive, mande paivere, mendo kopeni i latoske. No enchantment and no divination. Eveni man rotoske be, barufeni kobe. Balaam was sent to curse the people of Israel, but every time he opened his mouth, the 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 the, the most he could do was to bless them the least he could do was to bless them and so even though he opened his mouth to curse blessings filled his mouth i declare that shall be your portion this month of october and moving forward anytime the enemy stands to render incantations to render divinations uh, to render curses against your life uh, the moment they open their mouth uh, it shall turn into blessings uh, it shall turn into blessings uh, their curses uh, shall not prevail their curses uh, shall not have a solid foundation but instead uh, it shall transform uh, into the blessings of the Lord uh, you shall be blessed uh, you shall be blessed uh, he said, surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. There is no divination against Israel. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 54 and 17, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Come on, we're declaring now. I want you to type no weapon. Type no weapon. No weapon that forms against you uh, shall prosper. Oh, and every tongue uh, which rises against you in judgment, uh, you shall condemn. Uh, we've already condemned it. Uh, I declare this day, uh, every weapon that is being fashioned, uh, every device and technology that is being fashioned in the realms of the spirit uh, against your life, uh, it shall not prosper. No divination and enchantment shall prosper. It shall not prosper. It shall not prosper. It shall not prosper. It shall not prosper. Valipe Runi Kofe Mentina Ante Kupe Ilava Maronskebe Maronskebe Leto Ferebini Kope Mendivai Ferena La Kope Ni Inskaba. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. The works of your hands shall be blessed. Your going out is blessed. You're coming up, you're coming in, it's blessed. The Bible says, and the Lord met Balaam and put a word in his mouth. Oh my God, the Lord will meet the witches and wizards that are attempting to speak against you. The Lord will meet the spiritual authorities that are speaking negativity and evil against you. The Lord will meet them and he will put a word in their mouth concerning you and that the word shall be a word of blessing. The word shall be a word of, of, of edification. The word shall be a word of increase. Your enemies shall bless you. Your enemies uh, shall speak well of you. Bavoke, Mendeva, Bantobe, 
Makova reiska, lekoipa, menda kopa, baro uska, nekova ne, zakaive, mante pai ferebeni, ekopeni, dantoskeve. Yes, the Bible says that when a when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. As I declared that I saw in the realm of the spirit, some of you have natural enemies. You have individuals that they have made it a point, a, 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 a thing in their life to frustrate you, particularly in the work field. I saw as a result of these prayers, uh, your enemies shall be at peace with you. Uh, those who you thought uh, the only thing was filled uh, that was in them was hatred towards you. Uh, your enemies uh, shall be at peace with you. Those that have spoken negativity uh, and evil concerning you in the past, uh, that have attempted to put your name down, uh, that have attempted to bad mouth you uh, and to make you look bad in the presence of, in of others, uh, your enemies uh, shall be at peace with you. When the enemy opens their mouth uh, to speak negativity, to speak evil, to put you down, uh, the Lord will meet them. The Bible says the Lord met Balaam. The Lord met Balaam. The Lord met Balaam. The Lord will meet your enemies. The Lord will meet your enemies. The Lord will meet your enemies and put a word, a blessing on the inside of them. In the name of Jesus. Paul said, Let no man trouble me, for I bear the mark of Christ. I declare upon you that indeed you bear the mark of Christ. That indeed you bear the mark of Christ. That indeed you bear the mark of Christ. No longer shall they trouble you. 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 Va faronuskebe mento koivala paroveni iskebe mentava. Your going out is blessed. Your coming in is blessed. The work of your hands are blessed. You will not be afraid, intimidated by the workings of the enemy. Whatever has been done in the past, we cancel it permanently from this night moving forward in the name of Jesus. And we establish a new altar. It's the altar of the Lord. And let incense arise. Let incense arise in the name of Jesus. Now I pray. Listen, I want to come against every spirit of witchcraft that has been affecting your health, that has been affecting your body, that has made you restless. You go to bed and you wake up more tired. It's a spirit. You go to bed and you toss and turn all night. It's a spirit. You're unable to even go to sleep. You stay up all night obsessing over the most random things. It's a spirit. Oh, uh, constant sickness and disease. We're going to pray against every spirit that has a hand in your physical body. And we're going to command that hand to be cut off. Before we do that, I want you guys, for those of you that got on, if you haven't shared, share this right now as we pray for healing. Share this right now. Send a link to someone who you know is in need. We declare this day that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak to your physical body. I speak to your mind. I speak to your soul. I said, I said receive rest receive peace uh, peace be still peace be still uh, every overactive imagination and mind uh, that causes you to clutter peace be still manvanto peranikope talifa radika mento kuba inskevana hitoi feremini manto kupensava lako i speak specifically to every spirit of witchcraft uh, that's been affecting your mind uh, that's been affecting your physical body that's been affecting your sleep schedule in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I command healing I command healing I speak to that spirit directly and I command it to leave 
Some of you woke up randomly. You woke up uh, and, and, and you woke up with high blood pressure. You woke up with diabetes. Uh, you woke up with all manners of strange afflictions and sicknesses. Uh, it was embedded in the realms of the spirit. Uh, I pray for you this night uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, Mefarusketo, Meliko Peni, Mentoveni in Saratia, Perusketo. I command that spirit uh, of witchcraft, uh, sickness, disease, infirmity, and affliction. I said, No longer, no longer shall it hold you down. No longer shall you be afflicted. Loose them and let them go now. Some of you are going to begin to feel like a weight is being lifted off of you. You're going, to, you're going to literally feel as if a weight has been lifted off of you. You're going to feel like you've been carrying two people upon you because you carry the spirit of heaviness. I command that spirit to let you go permanently in the name of Jesus Christ. I see someone's knees being healed. You are unable to run back and forth. I saw someone beginning to run back and forth. Their knees were healed. Their knees were healed. I speak healing to your knees now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, do what you couldn't do. I command healing. You are healed. You are healed. You are healed. You are healed. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Avarabenishka. Yevemba. Beroskedone. Mandefaika. Zetoi Farabeni, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, be healed now in Jesus' name. 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 Jesus name. Listen. There is a release of a healing virtue and grace that is resting upon you individuals. I declare healing to your bones, healing to your mind, healing to your emotions, healing to your memory, healing from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Every sickness and disease that was embedded by the enemy, I command healing right this moment in the name of Jesus. Listen. Some people are already receiving healing. Someone says, knee pain, gone. Glory to God, gone. I declare it, gone in the name of Jesus. Come and testify your healing. If the Lord has healed you, if a pain has disappeared, if a weight has left, I declare healing now in the name of Jesus Christ. Mante farapeni, kaitha la anskepeni iroskepe, yande fakome, yevembe, mente koiva, paroske dunke, mento kube, la tonske, mento ko. Today you're healed. I declare it in the name of Jesus. Mente fa every sickness, every disease that was implanted at nighttime, I said be healed now. Someone says sinuses cleared up instantly. Look at that. It's too easy for God. Mero, my knees feel touched. Receive the blessing and the breath of the Lord. Someone says I felt a huge weight. Leave me. Oh my God. It's the healing virtue of the Spirit. Healing is for you. Uh, someone says, I just did jumping jacks. Uh, I was unable to do, I wasn't able to do it before. Peferus ketu menta. I had some heat uh, around my ankle. I believe I am healed. Too easy. Pain in bladder and uterus, gone. Too easy for God. Marufenoskebe mente. I speak to that lump in your throat that comes and goes. Ah, Felipo Rini Iske. Dissolve now in the name of Jesus. Someone said, Headache is leaving now. It's too easy for God. There are multiple healings that are taking place. Multiple healings are taking place. Multiple healings are taking place. It's too easy for God. Someone says, lower back pain lessons. Begin to bend that back. 
Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. Man de fakope. I was getting choked and had pain in, in throat during prayers and it left. That was deliverance that you were going through. The Lord has set you free. Oh my God. It's too easy for God. I felt something lift from my shoulders. Deliverance. It's too easy for God. I believe there are going to be more testimonies. Right now, someone says, my throat has cleared up. It's not scratchy any longer. Look at that. Testimonies. It's just, they're just going to continue to flood in. This moment, I want us, I, I want you to begin to give. Listen, before you give. We're praying against every work of witchcraft, against your finances. Sometimes poverty, lack, constantly not having enough attacks in your financial status and well-being sometimes is a work of the enemy. It's the work of witchcraft. I pray this night that the power of the enemy is broken. This is what you're going to sow into. Verse 23 and 24 surely there is no enchantment against jacob neither is there any divination against israel according to this time it shall be said of jacob and of israel who hath god wrought what has god wrought verse 24 listen behold the people shall rise up as a great lion we're sowing into that void into that verse like, say i will rise you will rise up like a great lion. I declare it's a seed of thanksgiving. It's a seed of faith. It's a seed believing in the realities of the Spirit. Believing that indeed the Lord is working for you and He's working on your behalf. I, I want you to go and begin to plant your seeds and, and begin to sow in faith. Stretch yourself. Sow a seed. The information is on the screen. Feel free to, if you're watching on your television, on your laptop, you can scan this chat right now. I want you to type in the screen, I will rise up as a great lion, but also I want you to type it as you sow your seed. You can type it, I declare indeed, you will rise up as a great lion. You will rise up as a great lion. You will rise up as a great lion in the name of Jesus. We pray this day. Listen, as I'm praying these prayers, God is still healing people. So keep doing what you couldn't do, even as you sow. But I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, every attack that's been mustered against your financial stability, against your finances, against the stability and the well-being of your home, I declare against your professional life, I command it to be broken now in the name of Jesus. I declare your money does not belong to the enemy. We break the curse of poverty and lack. I declare your money belongs to the Lord. He gives seed to the sower and bread to eat. I declare in the name of Jesus, everything that has taken place foundationally, everything that has taken place foundationally that is affecting your finances, that is affecting the work of your hands, that is affecting the blessings of the Lord, that, are, that, are, that, are, that present itself as a hindrance to what God wants to do in your life. I command it to be broken in the name of Jesus. I speak uh, to any way the enemy is siphoning your resources. Uh, any any time you get money, it just disappears. All type of bills show up. You get into fender benders. Things begin to happen. Sicknesses you need to spend. Uh, deposits and go into the deductibles and the hospital. Things begin to happen. I pray right now. Any way the enemy is attempting to siphon your finances, uh, let it be broken. And I pray for you as well. Any way the enemy attempts uh, to stop you from rising to stop you from being promoted some of you are at jobs 
You're supposed to be promoted by now. I command in the name of Jesus uh, what belongs to you. Uh, let it be given unto you. Uh, let the bonus you're supposed to receive this year, let it be multiplied. Uh, let it be increased. Uh, let it not just be a bonus, uh, but let it come with a promotion. Uh, I speak promotion upon you. Uh, I speak promotion upon you. Uh, I speak promotion uh, into your life uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes! You will not stay at the same place your entire life. I pray for those of you that are in college. Uh, I declare, I declare this day uh, that you will get in job interviews uh, and you will get jobs. You will get internships uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, you will not lack. Uh, you will not be needy. You will not beg for bread. Uh, the Lord shall supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory the lord shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory you will rise up like a great lion you will rise up like a great lion he said behold the people shall rise up as a great lion and lift himself as a young lion. He shall not lie down until he eat of the prey and drink of the blood of the slain. That means uh, you will not stop, you will not rest until you partake of what belongs to you. I declare what belongs to you will not be withheld from you. Receive business ideas, receive new clients, receive scholarships and grants in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. The Lord has done it. Man Therapino Oskepe meant as always, I challenge you to go out, ask for that raise, ask for that promotion, send the emails that are necessary. I prophesy elevation increase over your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Elevation and increase over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not remain the same. You will go far beyond everyone else in your home. You will go far beyond everyone else in your family. You will go far beyond everyone else in your community. You will go far beyond everyone else. When men shall say there is a casting down, you will say there is a lifting up. We thank you, Jesus. Now, in the name of Jesus, if you if you were healed, I want you to still testify. Type it on the chat. If you were blessed, if you went through deliverance, type it on the chat. The Lord wrought a great miracle in our midst. Miracles, healings, deliverances have taken place. I come, I declare freedom. Some of you, you're going to go to bed tonight and you're going to have dreams of deliverance, dreams of freedom, dreams, dreams dreams some of you may even see me in your dreams coming as an agent of light liberation and deliverance i declare it upon you this night some of you will wake up completely healed i declare it upon you this night in the name of jesus christ of nazareth the son of the living god someone says i was delivered Glory to God, deliverance, freedom, healing. I declare over your life this night that everything that the Lord has, everything that we've prayed concerning shall be established. Shall be established. There shall be no backlash and no retaliation against your life in the name of Jesus. The peace of God go with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. I want you, we've been praying. We're almost at day 50. I want to encourage you guys to continue to pray. Continue to seek the face of the Lord. Tonight was night 45. Amen. Continue to seek the face of the Lord. Continue to pray. Continue to travail. Continue to join us. Amen. 
Continue to push yourself in prayer as well. If you're in the New York area, join us Friday for our 10 hours of prayer is going to be explosive. It's going to be dynamic. It's going to be supernatural. The scripture was Numbers 23, 22 to 24. Amen. I love you guys. Continue to keep me in prayer. I'm getting ready to get off. But continue to keep me in prayer. I'm believing that God will do great things in you. As we pray this prayer, you can be confident that you're preserved, that you're protected, that you're kept, that you're covered by the hand of God. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. The Lord is your defense. We've broken the powers of the enemy over your life. And some of you are going to continue to see the manifestations of it throughout this month. You will rise in all you do in Jesus' mighty name. I love you guys. I will speak to you tomorrow night as we pray for night 46. Night 46 of our groans and travail. Remain prayerful and remember, men are always to pray and never to faint. The wisdom before time began. You run forever. Brother Chophilos, help us for a moment to, to sing this song. Don't change the song. Just hold this song. You can come up. For and any time the preacher feels the atmosphere is conducive, he will come up. Into the wisdom before time began. You called us in true and you made a plan that we live and move and have all our being in thee. In thee. Into the wisdom before time began. You called us into and you made a plan that we live and move and have all our being in thee. In thee. Ah. i
ever great. You are the wisdom before time in. Yele la thana, yele shalom, la fagane. Hebre mozani eki le befole. Eflemo na vile tiki sali le vali amama beloko. Hebre mini kagi ki agama. Ezi silini e menoni kidi la vale. Hebre na na ile no na gai. Eseli le mena. Hebre mini vidi e koi ne ne ka. And so pray, who sees in the defeat, and not the other kind in a head where they live. And so, Mudu, every day, and a daddy, as in soul, and the head of the Pope, and the defeat, and the you reign forever. You reign forever. You reign forever. You are the wisdom before time You are. 